Okay everyone, so this is a really, really short, simple video on Nazi opposition um, using my not so great sketches. So you need to know about four groups. Okay, number one, army generals. Army generals were quite scornful of Hitler. Uh, many were from an upper class background. They saw Hitler as low class. Uh, his strategies in the war um, angered them. They were disgusted with his anti-Semitism, his political, uh, yeah, his anti-Semitism, his hatred of the Jews, what the SS were doing. Von Stauffenberg there led what was called the Stauffenberg Plot. He was part of the Kreisel Circle, who tried to assassinate Hitler by planting a bomb. Uh, it didn't go off. Hitler survived. Uh, Stauffenberg and his co-conspirators were eventually found and killed. Secondly, the church. Hitler wasn't a big fan of the church. He believed they were one of the last organisations to have the hearts, the minds, the ears still of ordinary German citizens. So he opened up what was called the Reich Church. Um, this angered many, many pastors, including Niemöller. Uh, Martin Niemöller opened up what was called the Confessional Church and he spoke out against the Nazis. Uh, he was thrown in a concentration camp for his troubles. You've got Dietrich Bonhoeffer there. Bonhoeffer trained young men to be ministers. He, he basically said that the church should have a say and it should oppose the evils of, of a regime like the Nazis. They had their part to play. Many church leaders didn't, they were quite neutral at first to the Nazis. Uh, they didn't really support them, but they didn't speak out against some of the atrocities either until that, that, until that is when Hitler and the Nazis, like I say, opened the Reich Church. Okay, thirdly, you have former political opponents. That includes the socialists, the communists, uh, former members of the powerful, formerly powerful trade unions. Uh, they were thrown in prison, beaten, tortured, executed when the Nazis came to power at first. However, obviously some still harboured a hope, a desire for a better Germany, a more democratic Germany. They would go underground, have meetings, uh, hand out leaflets, etc, etc. Obviously, uh, many of the parties still had, they had very, very different views to uh, the Nazis. Lastly, you have young people. Young people oppose the Nazis in a number of ways. Um, for example, the Edelweiss Pirates was a name given to young groups by the Nazis. Um, they basically didn't want to join the Hitler Youth. They rebelled. Uh, they dressed in a certain way, they sheltered deserters, um, they would beat up members of the Hitler Youth when they were marching or patrolling. Um, you have the White Rose Group. The White Rose Group did that in a slightly more peaceful way. They tried to educate people, they were disgusted at the lack of opposition in the first place. So they would hand out leaflets and they would have mini rallies. Uh, they were led by Hans and Sophie Scholl, Munich University students. Uh, however, sadly for them, they were killed. Um, they were thrown into, put into a concentration camp and killed, never seen again. Okay, so there you go. That's four groups. Um, it's very, very tempting to think that everybody fell into, into line under the Nazis. Most did. There were some brave pockets of resistance, though. Make sure you know the details. There is far, far more to learn about than what's just in this video. Okay, thank you.